So the video you guys have been waiting for for a long time, the Miracle Watt. Is it a scam? All right, so I know a lot of you guys, or some of you guys, in the comments of the Miracle Watt video were kind of saying that this video is a little bit overdue. Not really, because I did have to wait for full billing cycles to pass in order to get an accurate or somewhat accurate reading about what this thing or if this thing is actually working so the miracle lot is it bullshit does it save you money does it clean up the noise or the crap that's inside of your electricity in order to save you a few bucks uh on your bill every month well this video is going to show you a little something but there's a little bit of a twist to it and you'll see why all right so january 2nd of 2022 is when i plug this thing in all right so right here we have the comment bill now this is from december of 2021 through january of 2022 so on december 7th of 2021 through january 10th of 2022 so this thing if you remember in the first photo that this was plugged in on the second so it's already been plugged in for about eight days all right bill is 374 dollars and 78 cents yeah that's my electricity uh and then the month before that was 316 dollars and 69 cents so you can see how the power being used over here varies now we used for the current month was 57.1 kilowatts and with an average temperature of 30 degrees last month which was uh let's see here november into december uh we used 50.3 kilowatts with an average temperature of 38 degrees okay so the temperature makes a big difference when you are when you are um even though you have a gas furnace it still uses electricity for the blower motor and then all electronics inside of your furnace um so the temperature outside is going to make a big difference of what your electric bill is so the actual bill itself uh when you look at supply it was 252 dollars and one cent but then they give you a delivery fee which is ninety two dollars and forty four cents and then the taxes make up the rest of it so this is for when i first plugged this thing in so it's already been plugged in for eight days and my bill was three hundred and seventy four dollars and seventy eight cents now 30 degrees outside all right so we have a this is something you have to keep in mind we have a space heater that we use in a, one of our rooms that's got a fireplace in it we don't use the fireplace anymore the room gets cold uh, especially at night so the space heater is on that's electric uh, we have a chest uh, freezer from 1981 which I know damn well that is not going to be energy efficient at all plus we have a uh, oxygen machine that it's not used 24 hours a day but it is on 24 hours a day and again you know that would probably be something that would be a good idea to shut off uh when it's not being used right all right so this is the next building cycle this is starting at 110 of 22 through 29 of 22 and the amount of the bill is $325.32 last month's bill was $374.78 so they're saying that we use a total of uh, 54.6 kilowatts with a 19 degree average temperature and then they're saying for the month before that that we used 57.1 kilowatts with an th average of 30 degree temperature now i don't know where they get this this average from okay because we don't have uh average temperatures at night would be like 19 degrees or or 20 degrees and shit like that but during the day uh we've been having a mild winter yeah we've been having some snow but the temperatures have not been uh kind of 
kind of current to what it was like when we were kids. All right, the temperatures are been averaging like in the 30s during the day and maybe 20s at night. So I can't say that the temperature wise of this is kind of current because as you can see, um, you know, if it was an average of 30 degrees the month before, why would we use more of the furnace going on and off if it was warmer? So you kind of get that what I'm thinking here. Um, so yeah, so they're saying we use less power. All right, now mind you that the kilowatt or not kilowatt, but the miracle watt is plugged in at this time, and it says that it really needs to be plugged in for uh, quite a few weeks. I think it was like eight weeks or something like that uh, before it would actually kick in and and do what it's supposed to be doing. Um, all I know is that if you read the paperwork for the warranty and wanting to return it, um, you got ninety days, and basically that's how long it takes. For the machine to supposedly do what you it's supposed to be doing uh is 90 days so yeah so they kind of screw you on that but anyways um that is with using say the oxygen machine running the chest freezer running and the space heater and the family room was also running too now my father is the only one that uses that room that has the space heater inside of it. He watches TV, and most of the time it's on at night. And depending on what time he feels like going to bed, uh, it may be on from 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock in the afternoon to anywhere between 8 o'clock at night, 9 o'clock at night. So it's not running all the time, all right? And that's even... Uh, like the month before, it was the same way. So it's not running 24-7. It's only run partial a day for a few hours. All right, so let's get into what the next bill is. All right, so the next month, which is from 2-9-22 through 3-10 of 22. So you can see I had to build up a few bills here in order to kind of... Uh, see what this thing was going to be doing if it was going to be doing anything at all and you can see that there is a balance that is owed of $297.96 now it says that we used uh 54.4 and then the month before that was 54.6 all right now they're saying that it is a average of uh 30 degree temperature outside all right and then the month before that was an average of 19 degrees temperature. So they're not getting their, their shit straight as far as the temperature wise goes outside. It's an average, uh, I would say estimate, not even an average, because it's not right. Now, I know for a fact that um, this month has been uh, warm outside. And I know for a fact on January 20th, my father went into the hospital uh, and he was in there for, I believe it was eight days. So in that eight day time, nobody was using the family room. I mean, hell, the TV or even the lights weren't even turned on in that room, let alone the uh, little space heater that was in there was turned on. So for eight days, that space heater was turned off. And you can kind of see here that... Uh, the bill has gone down, you know, quite a bit from $325 to uh, $297. So without that space heater working, plus, okay, I know that we had, it was cold that night because I was going back and forth to the hospital um, for three days up until they told me that uh, because of the COVID bullshit that you couldn't, you know, couldn't go because he was out of, uh, uh, he went to an ICU. So, um, yeah. And then temperature-wise, for the remainder, uh, even though this is now 317, um, our temperatures have been getting warmer out here, and snow is basically gone. So, uh, yeah. Furnace is not running that much. Still kind of using a little bit of the, uh, you know, the kilowatts. And, but the bill has gone down a little bit now. The supply is $189 and delivery was 77.78. Uh, 
So you can figure out the difference with the taxes and other bullshit to make out the 297.96. So, yeah, temperatures have gone down. The oxygen machine was on, um, but uh, the heater, space heater, was not for a good length of time. And even like right now, it's not being used because it's not really that cold outside. So... I would say that Miracle Watt is bullshit because when you look at the temperature outside and you look at, okay, the approximately how many times your furnace is going to kick, on, kick in during the day compared to being a little bit colder at night and how many times it may kick in during the night, um, you'll see that, okay, there's going to be less power used because it's warmer during the day than it is at night. And depending on, like, right now, I mean, hell, my furnace hasn't really kicked on at all today because it's it's been like 60, what was it, 67 today, I think it is, outside. I know it's supposed to have gotten up to 70, but I don't think it quite made it up there uh, today at all. So, yeah, if you're not going to use it, turn the fucker off because that's what's causing your bill to go up. And it doesn't matter what you use to plug into the wall or, I mean, if you want to go solar, then I'd say, yeah, because you're making energy from the sun, it's stored, being stored in batteries, and you can actually sell that power back to whoever you're getting your electricity from um, to have a lower bill. But otherwise, nothing you plug into the wall is going to sit there and, and say, hey, we're going to save you money. No. So if you remember my first video about this, there was the infamous little black box. So I decided to take a hacksaw and cut the black box and revealing basically a lot of black epoxy that was inside of there. But in doing so, one of the black wires that was going into the epoxy came right out. And it didn't look like that it was soldered or, or glued or whatever to anything. There was actually uh, no wire sticking out of the insulation on the other side that was inside of the black epoxy so I continued to rip this thing apart and as you can kind of see it's just a lot of uh, wrapped foil basically it didn't look like there was anything inside of it or uh, any type of a liquid like usually a capacitor will have a liquid wrapped with uh, foil and some cotton um, if they, I think that's what that is, if it is cotton, but usually there'll be uh, some type of a liquid. That's kind of like what makes like the capacitors going bad and it bulges and it starts leaking. Usually that liquid leaks out. Or if this thing was trying to be a, uh, a very large resistor, but either way, it wasn't connected to anything when I was pulling this thing apart. And as you can see that there was a lot of foil wrappings wrapped around nothing. 